These threats prompting a petition from Oakland County students to make classes virtual until the new year. So far, nearly 11,000 people have signed it. Dozens commenting on the petition. One reading, quote, we need a break. Students are in fear and so is our staff. Another reading, quote, a kid should not have to go to school and not be able to come home. 7 Action News reporter Brett Cass tells us where this petition stands tonight and why many parents chose to sign it. Well, the petition calls for all Oakland County schools to go virtual until winter break due to ongoing threats. Now, for some schools, winter break starts next week, and that means that some students won't be back in the classroom until the new year. In the wake of a deadly school shooting at Oxford High School, tensions have been high. Dozens of schools have received threats of violence, sending students everywhere into lockdown. We just instantly started barricading the doors, putting tables, chairs, we're just throwing them, just anything in front of the door. Everyone just got real scared, you know, we got people crying. The intense lockdowns also led to massive law enforcement responses, leaving students and parents to fear the worst. What was it like when you first found that first threat in, in your district? I mean, what was going through your mind and your son's mind? It was scary. You know, it was shortly after Oxford. Cassie Captain has a son in Clarenceville schools and says the district had a few non-credible threats that still left her son in fear. It's really scary. It's really scary as a parent, especially as a parent with kids who already have anxiety issues that you try to manage on a regular day. So she, along with more than 10,000 others, signed an online petition calling for all Oakland County schools to move virtual the rest of the year. He thrives being in person school. So for me to sign a petition like that to take him out of school means I really think we need a beat. Some districts like West Bloomfield made the switch going virtual until winter break, but say that decision was not made because of the petition. Other districts like Hazel Park remain in session, adding in a statement. So many children have lost instruction over the last few years. It is our intention to continue to work to facilitate accelerated learning as much as possible during these difficult times. Meanwhile, some parents and students remain on edge, hoping these threats come to an end. This needs to stop. And I, I don't have the answer to making it stop, but maybe if we all take a minute with our kids, maybe we can at least slow it down, I hope. And tonight the county school board did have a meeting, but this was not on the agenda because this decision is not up to the county. It is instead left up to individual districts. In Oakland County, I'm Brett Cast, 7 Action News.